Hello, everybody. It is Mrs. A, and I'm here in St. Stephen today, and it is beautifully snowing outside. It's really cold, though, but it's so pretty. I wonder if it's snowing in Campobello today, too. Here, let me show you. Can you see the snow on the cam with the camera? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, big fluffy one just went by. It is so nice. I cannot wait till I'm done my work so that I can go out and play. It's like a winter wonderland out there, isn't it? I'm going to share a story with you right now. Um, and in the story, a girl actually wants to dance in a ballet that's called Winter Wonderland. Are you ready? Let's settle in and listen at home to my story. All right, the story is called Pillars Worries. And it's written by Victoria M. Sanchez with the pictures by Jess Golden. So this is Pillar. Pillar plies while brushing her teeth. Friday is always a good day. Ballet class. She sashays into the kitchen, prepares to leap, and her feet stomp. Auditions for Winter Wonderland are Saturday. Tomorrow, Pillar worries. I can't dance in front of all those people. What if I forget the steps? Pillar lets out her breath. It's her favorite ballet. She knows all the steps. She hugs herself as she enters school. Pillar, she tells herself, Friday is always a good day. But in PE, that's phys ed or gym class, in gym class, she drops a fly ball and she turns pink. During library, Pillar realizes she forgot to bring her very overdue book. Her skin prickles hot. By lunch, her stomach is squeezed so small she can only swallow one bite, even though it's pot sticker day. Pot stickers. Those are like dumplings. I like dumplings. I wonder if you've ever tried them. In math, Mrs. Jenkins' voice startles Pillar from her daydream. Who would like to solve the problem on the board? Pillar's arm refuses to rise, but her hand twitches. Pillar? Miss Jenkins asks. Pillar immediately forgets the answer. Pass, she mutters. Someone whispers loudly. She always says pass. No, her eyes tear up. Her heart beats so fast it scares her. She panics. Do I need to go home? She drops her head and she sees a sticky note on her desk. I don't know if you can see what it says, but it says breathe. Sebastian, a friend from ballet, grins. Hiller smiles and remembers to breathe. Finally, the last bell. School's over. Finally, ballet. At the studio, Hiller's palms touch the warm wood of the bar. Her toes and heels press down on the floor. Ms. Ward, the instructor, claps. Let's begin with plies. The school day disappears. After warm-ups, Ms. Ward asks, Hiller, could you please demonstrate your arabesque? I'm not sure how you say that. She sees students starting and Sebastian smiling. Pillar's palms are sticky on the bar, but as soon as her long leg lifts, her shoulders relax, 
and the rest of the hour breezes by. Dancers, calls Ms. Ward, auditions for Winter Wonderland are tomorrow. Please see me if you're interested. Pillar's heart leaps. Then her worries creep back. Should I? Sebastian signals Pillar, but she turns and packs up. Pillar, it's Mrs. Ward. Signing up? I, cheeks burning, she shakes her head. At bedtime, Mama sits on Pillar's bed. How was your day, love? She asks. Pillar's chest tightens. Then she begins to cry. Tryouts are tomorrow, Mama, but I'm too nervous. Pillar's Mama hugs her. Whether you try out this year or next year or never, you're still an amazing dancer. I want to this year, but my whole body is scared. Mama touches Pillar's chest. Their sign for breathe. If you decide to audition, you will feel scared. But usually, when you are doing what you love, the good feelings are so big that the bad feelings become small. Pillar can't sleep. She thinks of Winter Wonderland and imagines her favorite part. The dancing snowflakes. Oh, just like outside. She steps out of bed. Quietly. Like nighttime snow. She dances. She feels peaceful and strong. Tired at last, she collapses into her comforter. I can do this, she murmurs. Killer wakes so early Saturday that she can still see the moon in the violet sky. She pulls her hair into a bun, she makes a snack, and she fills her water bottle. Mama walks in yawning. Well, good morning, early bird. Mama, Killer blurts, I want to audition. At the studio, Pillar spies Ms. Ward. Pillar's belly is so queasy. She thinks back to dancing last night. She breathes deep. And her teacher smiles. Pillar, I'm so happy you're here. Everyone's warming up backstage. Pillar feels like she swallowed a hundred butterflies. But just as she starts to worry, Sebastian walks in. I'm so nervous. I want to barf, he moans. Killer laughs and the butterflies float away. A judge calls. Pillar? The flutters return, but Pillar closes her eyes and she breathes deep. I can do this. This is what I love. Her legs prickle and her feet feel numb, but she walks to center stage. The music starts and Pillar closes her eyes and imagines winter and ice. Her flush cheeks cool. She steps and dances. And before she knows it, the music silences and Pillar walks off the stage, beaming and tall. Next week during sharing, Miss Jenkins goes around the circle. Pass, says Pillar, but Sebastian raises his hand. Pillar and I are going to be in Winter Wonderland. We're snowflakes. Her classmates Classmates speak up all at once. Cool! Wow! Whoa! Pillar's skin warms, but this time it's nice, like the warmth of a fire after playing in the snow. 
And that is the end. What a great story. Thank you for sharing that with me. One of the things I love about it is it talks about worries and we all worry about things sometimes. And I thought it was a good one to share right now because maybe there are things that you are worrying about as you are learning at home. And if you are worried, you can always do some of the things that Pillar did. You can talk to somebody about it and you can find activities that take your mind off worrying. And maybe for you, you like to dance or maybe you like to go out and play in the snow. Maybe you like to draw or maybe you like to play video games. You'll have to tell me what are the things that you do when you are worried so that you can feel better. All right. I will see you next time. Have a good week. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.